and about the Cesar Franz symphony, this symphony was much more popular uh, at my student times, uh, was uh, played more often. Somehow it's a little neglected. I think because it's only one symphony. You know, when a composer write nine or 12 or like uh, 15, like Shostakovich, he has more presence. So you cannot ignore him. But one symphony of Cesar Franz, uh, it could be forgotten. But it's, it's a wonderful symphony, the tradition of the uh, Beethoven in the last symphony, in the ninth Beethoven. So we have also connection with Beethoven ninth. Uh, the, <clears throat> the, the motif, the light motif. Beethoven began in the ninth symphony to use the light motif that he began and he used them later again. So the motifs from the first movement, the second movement, and so on. And this began a revolution, which we know in Berlioz, of course. Berlioz took it. He was the first one who developed the light motif. It was, for instance, a fantastic symphony. There is the motif of, of the hero. And this motif returned every time in another uh, in another expression, another uh, meaning in the symphony. And of course, uh, Liszt continue and Wagner who really, so César Frank. So it, this is really a very romantic symphony. As I said, it's built on the use of the main theme, which returns again and again. And there is, uh, in all the movement, there is uh, something which to unite them. But the wonderful thing with this symphony, it's uh, I repeat something which uh, I think a great conductor, Vittorio de Sabata, told about symphony, that this symphony is the expression of all what makes life uh, wonderful. Uh, there, is, there is joy, there is tragedy, there is love, there is everything in this symphony. It's really, uh, like a kaleidoscope of humanity. That's why I think this symphony will not remain neglected. I think it will come again. That's, uh, uh, I'm very happy that we are doing this symphony because it's a wonderful symphony and uh, should be played more often, I think. Yeah.